that it's Ames. If you do make a mistake, switch the microphone for an AK and get out of there before a guard gets suspicious. If you're discovered inside, they'll cut off your retreat and call in the reinforcements. You won't make it out of the room. The mission will be over if you're discovered. Don your disguise and look for Ames while deflecting the enemy's suspicion. Reporting no problems in the hall on B1 in the Shell 1 core. Reporting no problems in the hall on B1 in the Shell 1 core. Your aims, aren't you? Reporting no problems in the hall on B1 in the Shell 1 core. Your aims, aren't you? My name's Jennifer. Reporting no problems in the hall on B1 in the Shell 1 core. Your aims, aren't you? You must be Ames. Keep still and listen to me. I'm not a terrorist. I got in here using one of their uniforms. I'm taking off the tape. Stay quiet. About me. An informer calling himself Mr. X, dressed like a ninja. I see. Take this thing off me, will you? I'm Richard Ames. The Secret Service? No, I was set in by the Lali Lule Lo, just like you. You what? You're here to find out where the president is. We have little time, so I'll be brief. How about switching to nanocommunications first? Nanocommunications? Right, silence beats talk when it comes to safety. <laughs> Are you on? Right here. Do you really know where the president is? Almost certainly. He was moved to the first floor of Shell 2's core section. The first floor? The core of Shell 2? Is he still there? I don't know. I can't get a response. You don't think he's been like the other hostages? Hmm? A hostage was killed in retaliation after the SEAL-10 disaster, remember? What are you talking about? Hmm. Regardless of what they do to other hostages, they won't touch the President. What makes you so sure? The case! You mean the nuclear button they took? Right. And the case won't do a thing by itself. That case may be the single most advanced example of a weapons failsafe system. The password is nothing less than the physiological data of the U.S. president. Physiological data? The president's own vital signs, heartbeat, brainwave pattern, blood pressure and so on, are constantly monitored and relayed by his internal nanomachines. This information, along with the DNA pattern, serve as a biometric password 
unbreakable even by the latest parallel processor supercomputers. The password entry itself cannot be performed unless brainwave patterns and heartbeats fall within normal parameters, rendering chemical and other forms of coercion impractical. In other words, the login must be made of the president's own free will. As a failsafe, the input must also be reconfirmed hourly, even after the initial login. If a valid confirmation is not forthcoming, the system will automatically cancel the login. And that's why they can't harm the president. At least until the bird flies. Is there really a new model of Metal Gear here? Absolutely. The black case serves as the launch key to Metal Gear as well. Why would they hide Metal Gear in an offshore plant? Haven't they told you anything? The entire thing was planned. The oil spill, the tanker accident that caused it, everything. The big shell was built specifically for the development of a new Metal Gear model. The inspection tour was to check its progress. What's going on around here? Wait. Here comes Snake. That's him? Use the microphone to listen in. King, Fat Man is dead. It doesn't matter. Is that really Solid Snake? That's what he claims. I thought Snake was dead. Solid Snake did die. But he's also here in the shell. Either he survived or there are two of them. Two of them? And that's impossible. Anyway, what did you manage to catch? They said password input was complete. I thought so. You said the password entry into the black case had to be made by the president willingly. That's right. So this means the president is cooperating with them. It would have to be, yes. Why? Probably tired of being a puppet, but it wasn't a smart move to betray us. A puppet? We're running out of time. They will fire a nuke. You know what you need to do before then. Fire the nuke? But it's nowhere close to the ransom deadline. Ransom? $30 billion in cash. What are you babbling about? The nuclear strike is not a threat. It's been the objective all along. They plan to slaughter millions of people. No, a high-altitude detonation. You've heard of the Compton effect? Total disruption of electronic equipment caused by EMMA pulse. Textbook answer. Well, when an average nuclear warhead goes off within the atmosphere, the result is an electromagnetic pulse of up to 50 billion megawatts. The EMMA field can reach tens of thousands of volts per meter, and most electronic equipment will be toast in an instant. If one of the key movers of world economy stops functioning, it could mean the beginning of a global depression. But that isn't their aim. What they plan to do is liberate Manhattan, pull it offline and turn it into some kind of a republic. Hence, Sons of Liberty, I suppose. Sons of Liberty? Damn! Ocelot is coming. I'm going offline. Search my pocket. Hurry! It's a security card. You'll be able to unlock doors of up to level 3 security. Use it to get to Shell 2. Take care of the President before they launch the nuke. He's coming here! Pick up your AK! What do you think you're doing? I asked him to remove these. I'm ill, you see. I always knew that the DIA turned out second-rate liars. What are you talking about? No need for denials. We know what you are, Colonel Ames. They knew that the President was planning to betray them. So they sent you in to keep tabs on him. Am I right? You! Sorry, Colonel. You failed to carry out your duties. You'll never escape the Lali Lulelo. Is that so? 
what the... You... You... You tricked me. I understand now. Ocelot. You... You... Which team are you with? Show me your face! You know who he is. No, he is not one of mine. Identify yourself. Hmm. We meet at last. Colonel, Ames is dead. Looked like a heart attack. Hmm, that's unfortunate. However, we do at least know where the President is. So there really is a new type of Metal Gear in this place? Apparently. We're still looking into it. I've also been told that the nuclear strike was what the terrorists were after from the start, not the 30 billion dollars. Cry. It was a cover-up all along. Colonel, what are you keeping from me? I am not keeping back anything. It's not as though I'm told all the facts either. I'm pulling in all the favors I can to look into all this. Just be a little patient. Our priority should be with the President right now. We can take it that they've completed the password entry and are preparing Metal Gear for a nuclear strike. Get to the President as soon as possible. But the President is cooperating with them. According to Ames, yes. But it's also true that they're about to get rid of the President. There's something else going on here, and the President may be able to tell you what it is when you see him in person. Ah. Once they get the confirmation for nuclear launch, they'll do it. You need to rescue the President before then. Jack, I agree with the Colonel. You need to protect the President for now. All right. Freeze! <gasps> uh.
Nothing here. Nothing here. I got him. Send reinforcements. Understood. The backup unit is being dispatched to the DE connecting bridge. Stop the intruder. Raiden, can you hear me? Pliskin, where have you been? Checking around. I'm in Strut H right now. How's the situation over there? We have a lead on the President's location. Where is he? Shell 2 Core, the first floor. I'm cut off from the core where I am. It's a mess here. All right, I'm on my way to Shell 2 right now. There are IR sensors in place on the connecting bridge between Shells 1 and 2. If you break the beams, the Semtex will go off. Yeah. I heard them talking about that. Target the control units and destroy them. Make sure you don't shoot the Semtex. What do the control units look like? Take a look with your binoculars. That's the Semtex. 
And that must be the control unit. Right, come in. Right, right. Raiden, I found us a ride. I'm all ears. One of the enemy's Kasatkas. Is it in good shape? Full tank. I'm heading for Shell 1 now. What about that Harrier? It's not on the heliport here. Good. I'll set this one down there then. Can you cover the hostages? They're being held on level B1 in the core. Pliskin, you didn't happen to find any other places where hostages were being held, did you? No, nothing like that. Okay. How many hostages are there? There's a few short of 30. One dead and several wounded. The Kasatka's cargo area will hold 13 max. What about the other Kasatka? Uh, I sabotaged it. It can't come after us if it can't get off the ground. Oh. We'll have to make two trips. Can you fly a Kasatka? I have a pilot who's flown the civilian model, the KA-62 in VR. There's not a whole lot of difference between the military KA-60 and the civilian model. Cleared for takeoff. Raiden, let me introduce you to my partner, Otacon. Otacon? Hey, Raiden. Nice to meet you. Intruders! Over here! Damn! Raiden, I'll talk to you later. Colonel, I need some answers from you. Who exactly is Pliskin and his partner? I know what you're thinking. It keeps coming back to Shadow Moses. And now this Otacon... A.K.A. Hal Emmerich, Ph.D., a Shadow Moses survivor. Rose? Snake and Otacon both became fugitives after Shadow Moses, wanted for acts of terrorism. An anti-Metal Gear organization. They sabotaged and destroyed countless Metal Gear units throughout the world. And were responsible for the incident two years ago that necessitated the construction of the Big Shell. Snake and his partner aren't terrorists. Jack, why are you defending them? I look back on what I've done here so far. And things like training and sense of duty alone won't get you through a sneaking mission like this. Jack, are you okay? You need something higher. I can't think of the right word, but it has to be pure will. Backed up by, by courage, or ideals, or, or something like that. I'd stake my life on it. The solid snake that saved Shadow Moses couldn't turn into a terrorist. Maybe that's true, but they went down with that tanker two years ago. We even recovered Snake's body. And the DNA test results on the body say it's him. Jack, I know what you're saying, but Snake is dead. He can't be here. Not even as this Dr. Hal Emmerich. But that also means that he can't be the terrorist leader behind this thing.
I've been waiting for you. A messenger from the Patriots. Where do I know him from? So you're the boss around here? No, not just around here. I'm the boss to surpass Big Boss himself. Solid Snake. No, that is not Solid Snake. <laughs> for interfering.
let you go learn it!
Raiden. You all right? Yeah. How about you guys? Barely managed, but we're all right. The chopper? We need some time for repairs. Oh. The president's all yours. Okay. Can I ask you something? What? Are you the snake? <sighs> they said you were dead. No, not me. There are still too many things I need to do. Snake, you're a legend, and that's why I need to ask you this. Legend? A legend is nothing but fiction. Someone tells it, someone else remembers. Everybody passes it on. I'm here because I was assigned to this mission, not because I want to. If I could, I'd be out of here in a second. How could you come back to all this? Why keep fighting? There's something my best friend said to me once. What? We're not tools of the government or anyone else. Fighting was the only thing I was good at, but at least I always fought for what I believed in. What about, what about the DNA results from that body? That was Liquid's body. He and Snake are identical on the genetic level. Liquid? A deception for our own protection. We stole his frozen body from some organization. Kind of a hassle, though. That's all there is to it. <sighs> are you two really an NGO? Insofar as we're a non-profit organization of civilians advocating a cause, yes. The cause happens to be the eradication of Metal Gear. We work on our own, but it's a cause worth fighting for. Why would you stick your neck out for something this risky? That's the way I used to look at it, four years ago. I was holed up in the middle of nowhere in Alaska, drinking too much. We have a responsibility to the coming generations, to the world. What responsibility? To keep track of the mistakes we've made as a species. We need to remember, to spread the word, to fight for change. And that's what keeps me alive. You think you can change the future? Nah, I'm not as arrogant as that. What you do isn't grassroots activism. It's more like terrorism. I admit that. But our group, Philanthropy, received some information. A new Metal Gear prototype was being developed here, and terrorists were planning to raid the facility. The information came from a very reliable source. So you're here to... We're here to stop all that. But I also have a personal motive. Looks like the terrorists have his sister in the big shell. We're here on our own, not under anyone's orders. We have our own battles. Otacon's here for someone. I'm not. This is a military mission. Jack, are you all right? Just barely. You almost gave me a heart attack. Sorry, wasn't intentional. I know that, and I know I need to stay stronger. Say a prayer for me, Rose, so I can come back. You will make it back. I'm with you all the way, remember? That means a lot to me, you know. I'm going to save the data, okay, Jack? Colonel, Metal Gear's already gone active. It's not too late. You can still prevent a nuclear strike by securing the president and preventing password confirmation from taking place. Get to the president. He's in the core section of Shell 2. I'm checking the satellite images. Looks like you can get to the core from the other side of Strut L. The core hasn't gone under yet from what we can tell. Follow the railings down, then jump onto the pipes. The only viable strut in the outer perimeter is the L. That attack just now doesn't make any sense. It's like they have no more use for this place. Colonel, you were monitoring the codec calls. That man was the real snake all along. Maybe. Maybe? Don't let your guard down with him. Why do you say that? Because they were never a part of the simulation. They're an unknown factor. You can take your simulation and... We're out here, we bleed, we die. Calm down. I suggest that you do, Raiden. Even if that is Snake, that has no bearing on your mission. Colonel, you and Snake used to be on the same side. I don't understand. I read about you and Snake in In the Darkness of Shadow Moses. I don't give a damn what that piece of trash said. Do you get me?
This is not a pretty sight. Hurry up and check the situation. I'm going to go in my pants. Nobody's looking, right? My father had some unfinished business with him. Olga, calm yourself. Because of your personal feelings. Then screw your plan. I've been waiting for this day for two years, and I will send him to the bottom of the ocean, right next to my old man. The launch comes first. Damn it. Where is Ocelot? Not here. I don't trust him. Don't talk that way about one of your own. He's not one of my own. He left my father to die, remember? Olga, 
We'll talk later. We need to get started on the final checks for the unit. All right. I'm headed back there. The upper connecting bridge to Shell 1 is down. What about the chopper? The cam-off is out of action. Take the oil fence from Strut L. I'll tell my men to start pulling out. Not yet. Their retrieval comes last. The intruder's still at large. Snake. What about the other man? He's got luck on his side, certainly. He survived that explosion. Listen, Olga, the code confirmation is in one hour. Keep the president alive until then. I know. No one gets in here. Turn the currents on. Of course. High voltage currents on. The door stays shut unless the president manages to take out that circuit panel from inside the room. And it's no job for bare hands. All right. Come back immediately. One more thing. What? We leave for Russia when this business is done. I want half the money for that. Of course. That was part of the agreement. We start living for ourselves after this. If there's anyone who wants to stay here, I want you to take good care of them. Gladly. Gerlukovich soldiers are the cream of the crop. It's time they went free. What happened to rebuilding Mother Russia? The old man is dead. The world is a different place now. It's your life. Just as a reminder, I'm going to say this again, one last time. Don't try anything on us. The feeling is mutual. I'm in front of the room where they're keeping the president. Everything all right? No sign of flooding, but I can't get close to the door. The floor is electrified. Don't test it. You'll be bacon. Any suggestions? Remember the Shadow Moses VR training. Take out the circuit panel? Right. But there's no way into the room. Try ventilation ducts. Yeah, I think I see one. Look for a remote control missile launcher. You can guide it through the duct into the room. Then target the circuit panel. Got it. Right, but make sure you don't hit the president. The president is wired with nanomachines. If we know the frequency, I can raise him. We've tried that repeatedly, but there's no response. It looks like the walls have a built-in radio shield. So that's why Ames lost contact with him. If you need to confirm his position, you can log into the node. Understood. Locate a remote control missile launcher first. Who's there? Knock it off! Knock it off!
Colonel, B-1 is completely flooded from what I can see. You'll have to swim through. I'm fine with swimming. Stroke the water and move forward by pushing the punch button. Push it in rapid succession to swim faster. Change your heading by moving the left thumbstick. Up will take you up. Down takes you lower. Left and right to face those directions. The O2 gauge will appear under your life gauge while you're underwater. The gauge corresponds to the amount of air you can hold from a single deep breath. Once the O2 gauge falls to zero, the life gauge will start to drop. You need to be aware of that. You have the remote-controlled missile. Good job. Now head for the first floor of the Shell 2 core. Take out the power source and make contact with the President before the launch code can be reconfirmed. Hurry! What are you doing? What are you doing? Get away! President Johnson. Huh? So you're finally here. You've been expecting me? Your equipment, that skull suit, isn't exactly standard military issue. Are you all right, sir? Is this some kind of sick joke? I thought you came to kill me. What? I'm prepared to face the consequences of my betrayal. What are you... Hmm. What the... You're... a man? Hmm. Well, who are you? Foxhound, sir. Foxhound? I see. 
Now things are starting to make a little sense. <laughs> Switch over to nano communication so nobody can listen in. Yes, sir. Do you read me, sir? Uh, yes. Mr. President, it's my understanding that the terrorists have managed to input the code sequence necessary for launching a nuclear strike. That's correct. I punched the sequence in myself. You're working for them? If you asked me two hours ago, my answer would have been yes. Right now? They're keeping me alive until my vital signs are reconfirmed. They betrayed you? I wouldn't quite put it that way. I wanted power. They sought destruction. But why stoop to terrorism? I wanted absolute power. But you're the president. You have power. No, I'm just a figurehead. What? Huh? I don't have any control. The real power is in the Patriots' hands. The Patriots? The truth behind this country. I'm not surprised you've never heard of them. Very few are aware of their existence, even among those with code word clearance. Huh? Politics, the military, the economy, they control it all. They even choose who becomes president. Putting it simply, the Patriots rule this country. No. Hmm. Hard to believe, isn't it? But it's the truth. The space defense, income tax reduction, and national missile defense programs. Every policy that's been credited to me was actually done according to their instructions. Space defense was initiated by Congress. That's what the Patriots want the country to believe. It's all a show. Democracy is just a filler for textbooks. Think about it. Do you actually believe that public opinion influences the government? No. This country is shaped and controlled as the Patriots see fit. The people are shown what they want to believe. What you call government is actually a well-staged production aimed at satisfying the public. Huh? Don't look at me like that. I'm legally sane, you know. It's not your sanity that worries me. The Patriots. Even I don't know who the actual members are. Are they financial, political, or military leaders? No one knows who the Patriots really are. Even my instructions come from a cutout. All I've been told is that every key decision is made by a group of 12 men, known as the Wise Men's Committee. Your office? The White House? Merely puppets, pawns in a game. By pledging my loyalty, an insignificant son of a senator was awarded the presidency. Hmm. Of course, that wasn't the only price I had to pay. What do you mean? Even if a pawn becomes a queen, it is still just a playing piece. I wanted to leave my own mark in history, but my ambitions were... You'll understand someday. I wished to be a member of the Patriots. I wanted to wield the power of a king instead of being an expendable pawn. And that justifies acts of terrorism? Yes. I'd intended to use the new Metal Gear as a bargaining chip. Bargaining chip? But I underestimated Solidus. He actually wants to challenge the Patriots, even if it means the destruction of the world. What are you saying? Whether you believe it or not, the balance of power rests in the hands of the Patriots. They regulate the country's various interests through controlled presentation, staging a drama that is palatable to the general masses. Can you imagine what would happen if they cease to function? Picture a massive political vacuum, a space that every power monger will try to fill for their own greedy ends. I'm talking about an unregulated power struggle, panic, civil war, chaos. Like it or not, the Patriots is an organization that must continue to exist. So you changed your mind because you wanted to avoid global chaos. Exactly. When I told Solidus that I wished to prevent disaster, he replied that pawns can never become players. And who is this Solidus? My predecessor, George Sears. That was the name the public came to know him by. I knew him by his code name, Solidus Snake. 
He was the third snake, preceded by Solid and Liquid, a survivor of the Les Enfants Terribles project. Neither Solid nor Liquid, he was a well-balanced masterpiece that the Patriots saw fit to entrust with the presidency. However, he fell out of grace with the organization four years ago. When acting on his own, he started an incident. Four years ago? Shadow Moses! That's right. At the time, the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, together with certain influential parties, initiated the development of Metal Gear Rex and an advanced nuclear warhead. However, this did not fall in line with the Patriots' plans. What's more, Solidus decided on his own to send his most trusted man, Ocela, to provoke Liquid Snake, bringing about the said incident. As a result, he succeeded in obtaining Rex and the data on the warhead. But in doing so, he ended up revealing the existence of both Rex and the Genome Army, a blunder that earned him the wrath of the Patriots. Shortly thereafter, Solidus was removed from the presidential office. I thought he resigned. That's the story given to the general public. Following his resignation, the Patriots selected me, their new pawn for the presidency. But that would mean that the presidential race was... That was quite a show, wasn't it? It was a well-scripted drama staged by the Patriots for the benefit of the public. Even the Democrats and Republicans were dancing to the Patriots' tune. Everything went according to plan, but for one exception. Huh. Following his resignation, Solidus' health was scheduled to fail him, bringing about his untimely death. Capped? Correct. But before the Patriots could execute their plot, Solidus went underground with the help of Ocelot. As he avoided pursuit, Solidus gained control of Dead Cell, winning over Colonel Golukovich's outfit. From there, he bided his time, knowing that his opportunity would soon arrive. What opportunity? The completion of the new Metal Gear project, an opportunity that would even his odds against the Patriots. By stealing the Patriots' most valued project, he would be able to place them in a very uncomfortable position. It's the only chance he has for survival. Once he has the new Metal Gear, he'll declare war against the Patriots. Needless to say, he must be stopped. Metal Gear is already operational. No, not yet. Hmm? What you saw was Metal Gear Ray, hijacked two years ago from the Marines by Ocelot. That was not the new Metal Gear. Then where's the new Metal Gear? Right here. What? You're standing in it. To be more precise, this entire Big Shell facility is the new Metal Gear. Would you say? No, I'm quite serious. The upper structure that you've seen is camouflage, designed to represent an offshore cleanup facility. The main structure extends from the foundation all the way down to the ocean floor. The connecting elevator is located on the B2 floor of the Shell 1 core. Arsenal Gear. That's the code name for the new Metal Gear. Arsenal? That's right. Arsenal. We're talking about an impregnable fortress carrying a load of over a couple of thousand missiles, including nuclear warheads, all protected by a horde of mass-produced Metal Gear Ray units. Mass-produced? The Ray unit was originally designed for the Marines to be used as a countermeasure against the Metal Gear variations throughout the world. The Patriots had Ray redesigned to protect the new Arsenal gear. So now anti-Metal Gears are guarding a Metal Gear. Ironic, isn't it? That's not all. Arsenal Gear has full access to the military's tactical network, giving it the ability to exercise absolute control over our nation's armed forces, not to mention our nuclear armament. In short, Arsenal was created to be the core of our country. What kind of idiotic weapon? Weapon? No. You're not seeing the full picture. Hmm? Arsenal Gear is more than just a military tool. It is a means to preserve the world as it is. It will establish a new form of control. The Patriots will use it to keep their place as the country's true rulers. Right now, they feel pressured and threatened. By what? They fear an overabundance of digital information. The world will drown in the coming flood of information, and they along with it. Hmm. The Arsenal plans include a system to digitally manage the flow of information, making it possible to shape the truth for their own purposes. 
In short, the Arsenal's system is the key to their supremacy. The key? Yes. The GW system is the Patriots' trump card. Arsenal gear will be fully operational when GW is successfully integrated. Once operational, it will be a completely new form of power for the Patriots to wield. I had hoped to seize the project from them so that I would be in a strong bargaining position. Bargain for what? I'd hoped to trade my way into their ranks, but Solidus preferred rebellion. Outer Heaven, his plan to unleash a nuclear blast over the skies of Wall Street to break the Patriots' control over the business community, is also a key factor in his offensive effort. Outer Heaven? Listen, there isn't much time. The football served as the key for activating Arsenal gear. I've already input the necessary code sequence. It won't be long before GW begins to establish connections with other external systems and Arsenal gear becomes fully operational. Stop them before that happens. That is your role. Role? You've got to find Emma Emmerich. She's the only one who can stop that thing once it's been activated. Emma Emmerich? She's the system programmer for Arsenal gear. I believe she's somewhere on level B1 in the core of this building. I thought the levels below us were flooded. I'm sure they won't let her die just yet, as she's the only remaining programmer for this project. According to Ocelot, she was being held in a locker room located in the northwest part of level B1. Cut transmission and get moving. This is card four. It'll give you access all the way to Emma's location. Give this to her when you find her. What is it? A program for disrupting the control functions between GW and Arsenal gear. Take Emma to the computer room on level B2, Shell 1 core. She'll know how to load the program into the main system. A virus? That's right, modeled after Foxdie. A biological weapon designed to selectively eliminate personnel with a specific genetic code. But why do you have it? The Patriots had it engineered as a failsafe. And Ocelot forgot to search me. You've got to hurry. That disc is the only way you're going to stop Arsenal. Well, I've told you everything you need to know. There's only one thing that remains to be done. Huh. Kill me. What the? There's no time to argue. The final check for my vital ID will start any second. If you kill me now, you'll at least prevent the nuclear strike. Cut it out! Uh, do it! That's your role! Uh, oh! No! Do it! That's abusing your right to free speech, Mr. President. Or is it ex-president? The president! Why did you... Alas, my finger must have slipped. I'll see you around, carrier boy. Forget him. He did us a favor. Without free will. There is no difference between submission and rebellion. My only real choice is to put an end to this charade. Let me at least have the freedom to end it myself. What are you? Find Emma. Stop Arsenal. This is my last order as your commander in chief. I'm counting on you. <sighs> Colonel, the President is dead. I see. I'm sorry to hear that. Where do we go from here? Your mission was to rescue the President and eliminate the terrorist threat. However, given the recent turn of events, we will honor the President's last directive. You must put a stop to Arsenal gear once and for all. 
Do you actually think there's any truth to his story about this big shell facility being a front for arsenal gear? I don't have the security clearance necessary to verify the facts. However, he was the president. I'm sure he knew what he was talking about. Aren't you forgetting that he was part of the terrorist plot? All the more reason why I believe his information is reliable. Huh? We're talking about a man who chose to die rather than risk a nuclear holocaust. Thanks to his sacrifice, the Nuclear Launch Authority has shifted to the Vice President, effectively eliminating the terrorist threat. Colonel, when you put it like that, it almost sounds like I should have assassinated the President to eliminate the threat. That was not my intention. I was trying to point out that there is certainly some credibility to the words of a man who chose death to protect the innocent. The Colonel has a point, Jack. What about the information he gave me on the Patriots? That's a new one on me. I'll see what I can find out. <sighs> Raiden, we're running out of time. Find Emma. She's supposed to be located on level B1, in the core of that building you're in, right? <sighs> You've got to find her before Arsenal becomes fully operational. Hurry, Jack. It's up to you to make sure that the President didn't sacrifice his life in vain. Understood. Raiden, out. What's your status, Raiden? Snake, the President, he's been assassinated. What? There was nothing I could do. What about the nuclear strike code sequence? He died before his vital ID could be reconfirmed. Then the enemies lost their nuclear strike capability. But that Ocelot guy obviously killed the President on purpose. Why? It doesn't make any sense. They had to know that they couldn't launch the nuke if they killed the President. Maybe there's a way to launch without reconfirming the vital ID. Or maybe they found a more effective weapon within Arsenal Gear. You knew about Arsenal Gear? Yeah. Why didn't you tell me about it? You never asked. Am I correct in assuming you also know that the Big Shell's a front for the project? You mean, did I know that the Big Shell, a fully functional environmental cleanup facility, was designed to camouflage Arsenal Gear? Yeah, I did. It's exactly what the President and Ames described, a massive cover story. The good news is that it hasn't really done much in terms of cleaning up the environment, so we won't have to worry about any toxic gas being released if we have to blow the house down. Right. And when did you find out about all of this? It took a while, but we uncovered the info around the time you took out that mad bomber. <sighs> There's no doubt that Arsenal Gear is being built here. Then it was all set up two years ago, on that day. All of it. Two years ago? What really happened here? I took these photos two years ago. I know these pictures. They were on the news on several websites. If I remember right, the reporters blamed you for sinking the tanker. That's right. Otacon, me, we were used. We'd hoped that by going public with photos of the new Metal Gear, we could persuade the government. At least that was the plan at the time. I've gone through VR training of the tanker mission before. Yeah? Well, I doubt it accurately simulates the events of that mission. I'd infiltrated the dummy tanker to obtain proof that a Metal Gear was under development. Shortly after I made it aboard, an armed group led by Colonel Gerlukovich raided the ship and gained control. Olga and Ocelot were among the raiding party. Yeah, and him. Who are you talking about? A man that was supposed to be dead. Their target was also Metal Gear Ray. But Ocelot eliminated Colonel Gerlukovich and Marine Commander Scott Dolph, and he hijacked Ray. So he betrayed them? I don't know what kind of deal was going down. All I remember is what Ocelot said at the time. Something like, I'm taking it back. Ocelot then sank the tanker, along with the soldiers of the Marine Corps. How did you manage to get out? Otacon managed to have a small boat ready for me. That was the easy part. The tough part was not getting dragged down with a sinking tanker. Small miracle when you think about it. It turned out that the whole thing was a setup to lure us. Photos of Snake, taken by the Cypher, were released to the public. In turn, we became the world's most wanted environmental terrorists. It was definitely a move aimed at putting a stop to our anti-Metal Gear activities. But why did they choose Snake? Since the Shadow Moses incident, Snake became sort of a hero. I think the Patriots weren't too happy about that. You knew about the Patriots? Well, yes, to a certain degree. It seems like everyone knows about them except me. They didn't choose Snake to be a hero. 
so they decided to do a smear campaign. I think the Patriots wanted to make an example of him so everybody would think twice before opposing them. That's it! They set all this up just to nail you guys! No, there's more to it than that. The Marines Metal Gear Ray project, headed by Commander Dolph, was carried out in opposition to the Navy's Arsenal Gear project. To be more precise, the Patriots considered Metal Gear Ray to be a thorn in their side. Hence, they attacked the dummy tanker and stole Ray. They followed this up with a perfect plan. They immediately sent a fully loaded tanker to the same location and sank it then set up the facility to camouflage the development of Arsenal gear. And we fell for it. Two more puppets in their show. Colonel Grilukovich and his daughter Olga? Both fell victim to Ocelot's plot. Was Solidus behind all this? He used Ocelot to get hold of Ray, huh? No, he was underground, keeping a low profile at the time. Then it must be the Patriots. If that's the case, what's Ocelot doing alongside Solidus? Hmm. Forget it. We're wasting time. We can figure this out later. The nuclear strike's been prevented, but Arsenal still has a massive payload of missiles to deal with. Right. If the opposition gets control of those missiles... Raiden, you've got to find Emma. Wait a second. Isn't Emma Emmerich... My sister. What's she doing here? You got me. She's a computer whiz who specializes in neural AI and ultra-variable volume data analysis using complex logic. How she got involved in weapons development is beyond me. Hmm. Whatever her reasons, we need her in order to stop Arsenal. Raiden, find her. I'm on my way. Raiden, are you reading me? This is Atacon. What's your situation? Wet and miserable. This place is flooded. The seawater that's been pumped up is pouring into the building. I see. Listen, there's something I have to tell you about EE. E. Don't worry about her. I'll get her out. She's afraid of water. What? Yeah. When she was six years old, she almost drowned with my father in our swimming pool. She can't swim? Well, yes and no. We used to swim a lot together when we were kids. In fact, she swam like a fish until that day when she almost drowned. When the accident happened, I was in my room. I learned later that E.E. E. was calling me for help. She didn't doubt for a minute that I'd be there. You could see the pool from my room, but I didn't realize at the time that she needed my help. What were you doing? I... I was... So Emma survived the ordeal? Yeah. But my father didn't. So you blamed yourself and left your family? No. E.E. E. seems to believe that was the case. The fact is, I betrayed her. And you think she can't swim because of the traumatic experience? I haven't seen her since that day, but yes, I think so. I got a letter from Julie, her mother, after they moved back to England. In her letter, she mentioned that E.E. E. couldn't swim anymore, that she refused to even wear a bathing suit. Damn. If she still can't swim, we're in trouble. Level B1 in the core is pretty much flooded. Look, maybe you can help her overcome the trauma. You want me to help her get over it? Well, it's still gonna take some time to repair the cam off. Sorry, kid. Emma's rescue is up to you. <laughs> Thanks. An underwater mission. 
Well, this is a first. Look, I'll see what I can do. I suggest that you drum the map of the building into your head, because you won't have time to look at it when you try to bring Emma out. I'm counting on you, Raiden. I covered most of the core when I had to take out the C4s. If there's anything you need to ask me, call me on the codec. I'll do that. Still ticking, huh? Unfortunately, hell had no vacancies. just ahead. She is of no use to us now. But she served as well as the live bait for the big catch. Crazy Ivan sometimes speaks the truth. Emma's alive? She was some time ago. But the flooding has become quite serious. I wouldn't be surprised if she's a mermaid now. What? Did you really think killing the president would prevent a nuclear strike? Think again! I didn't do it! <laughs> Arsenal is still armed with a purified hydrogen bomb. Purified hydrogen bomb? This is no ordinary nuclear bomb. This weapon is capable of heavy hydrogen nuclear fusion using lasers and magnetics to generate heat-insulated compression. It was a top-secret project initiated by the current president, and Solidus has no idea of its existence. The clean thermonuclear bomb is at an experimental stage and is handled differently. Specifically, it becomes launch capable when Arsenal is activated. A nuclear threat still exists. Six months ago, we lost everything we believed in. We were abandoned to take the fall in their cover-up. We were labeled as killers responsible for the mass murder of civilians as well as our own allies. And the public believed every word, turning a deaf ear to whatever we had to say to the contrary. Our only goal is to wipe them from the face of the Earth and destroy this world of deceit they have created along with them. You're insane. Insane? We might be the only ones telling the truth.
Final check for activating arsenal has been completed. All arsenal personnel report to your stations. Well, it sounds like arsenal's ready to go into operation. Damn it! You're still hoping that the girl can install that virus you're carrying around, aren't you? You know? <sighs> it's a shame you're not going to be around long enough to hand her the program. That isn't seawater, you know. It's a byproduct of the microbes contained in the pool. Buoyancy is practically non-existent thanks to the high oxygen content. Once you fall in, you don't come up. Take a good look at your grave. Show me what you've got. Yes, 
my body. Colonel, they've apparently completed the final check procedure for Arsenal gear. Find Emma on the double. You've got to get her to install the virus program that the President gave you. When you find her, take her to the computer room on level B2 in the core of Shell 1. Snake, did you catch all that? I didn't make it on time. Arsenal's going active. Yeah, I heard. The hostage rescue's gonna have to wait. I'm going after Emma. We'll secure the computer room. Looks like we can't install the virus program without Emma. Can't your partner do it? I would if I could, but the security for this system is no joke. I need more time. That's why we need her. Understood. I'll make sure you have your family reunion. Uh, What's up? A lot of years have passed between E.E. E. and me. Then you should see her, right? I don't have the right to see her. We can talk about this later. Raiden, I think you'd better get moving. Emma's in the locker room to the north, right? I'm on it. Are you all right? Who are you? Raiden, I'm getting you out of here. Get me out? You're lying. Where are you taking me this time? What are you talking about? I'm here to help. Here, I'll prove it. Do you have nanos? What? Well, do you? I do. Everybody on this project has them. Okay, good. Let's try.
Can you hear me now? Nano communication? That's right. I have nano machines too. Then you're not one of them. That's what I've been trying to tell you. And you came to rescue me? Actually, I need your help to stop Arsenal. I understand you're the only one who might be able to do it. And who told you that? The president. Really? I need you to come with me to Shell One. Your brother's waiting for you there. My brother? Come on! We have to get moving! This place will be flooded soon! Swim. You used to love it. How do you know? Your brother told me. He's really here? That's right. He's here to rescue you. I don't believe you. He would never come for me. And I'm telling you he's here, waiting for us at Shell One. No! He left me, my mother, when we needed him the most. When my father died, all he could think about was himself. Emma, we can go over all that later. But first, we have to get out of here. No! I hate water! It's hopeless! I can't swim! I can't swim! You can do it! I can't! Come on, deep down inside, you know you can swim! I can't keep my eyes open in the water. Endless blue. The water, it, it wants me. It won't let me go. All right, then close your eyes. I'll guide you. I, I, I was injected with something. My, my legs. I have trouble moving them. Listen, Emma. Just hold your breath. I'll do the rest. First, we'll head to filter chamber two. Then we'll take a break. And all I have to do is hold my breath. That's right. How long? Just a little while. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. That's how I got here. I, I don't think I can do it. I'm not good at holding my breath. Look, Emma. I have an idea. Put your ear against my chest and listen to my heartbeat. Your heartbeat? Count the beats. Don't think about anything else. When you reach 100, open your eyes. By that time, we'll be on the other side. Give me a signal if you think you're running out of breath. What will you do then? I'll swim faster. Hang on tight. Okay, let's go. I'm closing my eyes. Take some deep breaths. One, two, three. Wait. What is it? Uh, let me take off my glasses. You know, you should wear contacts. There's nothing wrong with my eyes. Hmm? Huh? I wear them for show. Trying to be different from the other girls? No, it's not like that. I like glasses. And there's this guy I liked who used to wear them. Your first boyfriend? No. Somebody more important. Anyway, they bring me luck. I see. Okay, let's go.
You did good. I concentrated on your heartbeat. It reminded me of when I was a kid. I remember my brother giving me a piggyback ride. I was sleeping with my ear against his back. I could hear his heartbeat. Sounds like you were close. We were, back then. We were stepchildren in our parents' second marriages. Wherever my brother went, I used to tag along. My brother didn't have any close friends, so he used to take care of me. We both wanted to be loved so much. So much that we used to pretend. Pretend? Yeah, we used to play house. My brother was the husband and I was the wife. But it was always just make-believe. We were only kids. You know what I mean. I never had a family, but I think I know what you mean. Raiden, what's your status? Colonel, I've got Emma Emmerich here. We've managed to avoid drowning. Good job. Get her over to Shell 1 as soon as you can. That's going to be hard with the connecting bridge on the upper level destroyed. Didn't Olga say something about taking the oil fence at the bottom of Strut L? Yeah, I remember that. You should be able to go down by way of Strut L. Try and get over there. What about Emma? She's been injected with something and she can't walk without any help. Take her with you. Free your hands of any equipment and hold down the action button to give her a hand. To release your grip on her, take your finger off the action button. Emma can sit and wait until you help her back up. And be careful. You won't be able to use any weapons while you're leading her. Now head for Strut L. We're on our way. Raiden, we've infiltrated the computer room. What's your situation? Emma's safe. We're heading your way. <sighs> Good job. Shell 1's deserted. Looks like everybody's aboard Arsenal. I had a look at the system, but there's nothing I can do. EE's our only hope. Right. I'll put her on then. Huh? EE? -E? How? I'll use my Kodak as a relay. Uh, <clears throat> Here she is. Uh, Hal? Uh, EE, -E, is that you? Hal. EE. -E. Um, why are you involved with Metal Gear? Huh? You knew our family's dark history and still got involved? What's wrong with you? I should have known. Answer me. Why are you repeating the same mistake? I... I wanted to hurt you. I wanted to see you suffer. E.E.? -E? You abandoned me. No, that's not what happened. All right. That's enough. <sighs> Who are you? I'm a friend of Otacon's, Emma. Otacon? Enough with the sibling rivalry. That's not what this is. We haven't got time for this. Raiden, get her over here right now. I... I... Gotcha, Snake. I'll head over there with Emma. Most of the enemies aboard Arsenal, but I suggest you be careful. Make sure Emma gets here in one piece. Raiden, take care of my sister. Don't worry. I'll get her there. Snake and Hal are waiting for us in Shell One's computer room. I've got this disk that the President gave me. This disk is supposed to contain a virus that can corrupt Arsenal Gear's operating system. We need you to... This is... this is my program. What? Why did the President give it to you? Huh? Did something happen to the President? Dead. What? You actually wrote this virus? It's not really a virus. It's more like a worm cluster. It's actually a delayed effect autonomous program that's designed to invade GW's cerebrum and render its nerve connections useless. You know what GW is? Of course. I created it. Huh? You look surprised. 
Uh, well... Cat got your tongue? I'm sorry, I... How about the Patriots? Ever heard of them? Yes, but I only know what I've been told. Can you tell me what you know? Um, sure, but it's hard to put into words. Right. Are you reading me, Emma? Yes, loud and clear. The President said that arsenal gear was the Patriots' key to supremacy. That's as good a description as any. What exactly is it? It's a massive data processing system capable of controlling information on a global scale. A data processing system? That's right. The system's a social device for maintaining the Patriots' control. You've lost me. Well, in this day and age, information emerges from every direction and is freely distributed. A variety of information gathered by servers employing the latest in high-speed communication networks and P2P technology is rapidly circulated to individuals. In fact, the speed of this circulation process is accelerating on an almost daily basis. The Patriots seem to be afraid of this development. Apparently, they believe that their role will shift from dominant to dominated. Huh? But let me give you an example. You're aware of Solid Snake's anti-Metal Gear activities, aren't you? Yeah, I know a little about it. Well, that's just a small sample of uncontrolled information. I can guarantee you the Patriots did not want Solid Snake's name publicized. Now, look at it like this. Political scandal, corporate corruption, up until now, the Patriots have managed to keep a lid on these and other self-serving events. But with their existing data processing system, they're no longer able to effectively control the flow of information generated at the individual level. With the newly created system, they can fully regulate digital information. High-level information can be categorized in stages, given clearance levels, and deleted as necessary, never to be seen by the public. By deleting such information, the Patriots can shape the course of history as they see fit. Somebody's bound to catch on. No, the memory capacity, not to mention the lifespan of the average individual, is extremely limited. On the other hand, digital information lasts virtually forever. It doesn't deteriorate. So? The alphabet. 26 letters, right? It could have been 30 letters. What if the four deleted letters were controlled by a program? Impossible. It's not. In fact, something similar is already underway. Do you know how many genes exist in an individual? About 30 to 40,000? Right. That's what was announced at the turn of the century. But there's actually 100,000 according to the original theory advanced by the scientific community. Information regarding the remaining 60,000 was suppressed by the Patriots. No. Why? How would you know? Do you know what a gene looks like? Did you count them yourself? There are research organizations. Of course. And their reports have already been subtly altered. They're even beginning to believe the doctored reports. GW is a system that allows the Patriots to decide what will be recorded in tomorrow's history. So what we're talking about is one huge censorship system for deleting information which might be inconvenient to the Patriots. Exactly. The actual physical core for handling the task, GW, is installed in Arsenal. It's the only system in the world with an optic neural AI that has a parallel processing capacity of 980 trillion hammets. I suppose that being a specialist in neural AI and complex logic played a significant role in your association with the Metal Gear project. That's not the only reason. What do you mean? <sighs> I guess there are plenty of other reasons. Yes, there are. I understand. Do you? So Arsenal Gear was actually designed to protect the GW system, wasn't it? Um, yes. It's armed with everything, including nuclear weapons, and is fully equipped with cyber-terrorist countermeasures. Physically and logically, it's the ultimate fortress for housing GW. But is the AI actually capable of controlling everything? No. GW is only the system's core. It's only for deciding what data is stored or deleted. The actual subsystem for executing the task exists within our social structure. What? Do you remember the panic that gripped the computer industry prior to the end of the century? You mean the Y2K problem? That's right. If you recall, our government supplied the world with a countermeasure program, using the internet at full capacity. The program was distributed to every governmental organization, every key facility throughout the world. In addition, the same program was included in an OS application for distribution among the public. Let me guess. The Y2K countermeasure contained a program designed by the Patriots. Yes, 
And everything supplied from that day onward contains the same program. Impossible. Do you know how a computer operates? Do you really know the basic principles on how data is exchanged? Well... Uh... Nobody's aware of it, but there's a subsystem in place, and it's about to be activated. Is that why Solidus wants to burn out every electrical circuit in Manhattan with a nuclear blast? Probably, but the overall system isn't actually complete. What? It still lacks the necessary factors for judging situations. I heard they were planning a major experiment in the next few days to provide complex data for GW to study. And suddenly all this happens. Emma, it's not your fault. If it wasn't for the terrorists... Yeah, you're right. Well, I think that's about all I know. Right. Uh, thanks. I think we'd better head for the computer room. <sighs> My bird in the computer room! Is he safe? That noisy overgrown parakeet? Excuse me, he's a parrot. And he's my best friend. My only friend. Well, the bird's okay. Good. Did you know that in the old days, miners used to take a canary into the mine shafts to detect toxic gas? That's what he's for? No. I really needed someone to talk to. Right. I think we'd better get moving. We've got a little longer to cover than the last time. I'll give it my best. Whatever you do, don't open your eyes. Why not? A dead body, not a pretty sight. Oh. Once we get past it, it'll be too dark to see anything. What are those sticks in your head? These? They're lacquered chopsticks. They hold your hair in place. Did you know that they're pretty popular in Europe and South America? Can't say that I do. You're not only cute, but smart too. Oh, I'm much more than cute. Okay, let's go. Freeze! <gasps> 